Hi, so far it's, uh, you're the only one, honey, is coming in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, next time don't rush. La. If you're downstairs, I know you say hi, but it's okay. La. Because, uh, I mean, what no, I, I wasn't really rushing because I was already like going home. Because me and my friend went out for dinner already and come back. Okay, hello. Hi, honey. Hi, hi. Okay, my so that's getting me... exceedingly long, John. Uh, if you don't cut during aura, then good luck to you, huh? You know, huh? Wait, which aura? I, I don't have any aura. National, national no, O-level. I know, I know. That one you don't cut. If you meet a disciplined teacher like myself, good luck to you, huh? Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. You know, uh, some some teachers are very funny one. They look in the every Last time, right? Last time, uh, we, we, got, we got some teacher, right? The hair, right? Slightly touched the eyebrow also, also score one. No, it's confirmed. Uh, this is rules and regulation. You have to adhere and uh, 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 abide to the rule. Just like you go to the military, good luck to you. Uh. You have to shave to a certain level. Military is military. La. You bus cut, then bus cut. La. No, but you see in school, it's the same. Uh, school is also a, a, like a regimental. Uh, not, not exactly true. Not exactly true. Mm, that is your generation. Uh. For my generation, we take go to school. It's very strict. one. Uh. Now, of course, it has to be fair and flexible. You know, the success of this story about school from the past to now has changed. And no matter how much they change, it's still talk about discipline. Discipline is still very important. Okay? If not, then no point called school. Uh. School is means I must have a discipline uh, platform for everybody. Yeah? So let's go for this uh, to this lesson. Uh, I don't know why Zach has not been coming for a while because I think she's having the NSG's uh, competitions. All right. So, uh, thank you. So how did how did you feel about getting your awards, your rewards or awards last Friday? Okay, eh? not there, can you? What happened to Tenyu? Are you there, Tenyu? Yeah, 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 I just came back. Yeah, I, I mean, how do you how did you feel when you got your rewards? Uh, uh awards on the last Friday? Oh uh, definitely first excited. Where is it show us then? Show us what is the awards that you got. Oh, no way. Yeah, must show us. Must be proud. Uh, then we crack for you. Son, it might be Whoa. a bit blurry. Oh, I cannot put two. Yeah, but very blur, very blur. Put, put in front of oh, your face. Oh, oh, yeah, five. Put in front of your face. No, I just saw it. Cannot very blur. No, yeah, I think I know why. Because I put the blur background with that, you know? Background blur. Ah, okay. okay. Ah, wow. Well done, well done. Must take picture, must take picture. Hey, uh, honey, take picture, eh? I have. No, no, I have. Screenshot. Uh, screenshot, eh, honey? Tell me, tell me. Okay, no, okay, no. It's fine, it's fine. Let, let Tien cook. It's his award, it's his award after all. Take a picture and send to me, lah. Yeah, let Tien send it to you himself. I can't. How am I meant to take the picture while having this? There, yeah, guys. Got this. Okay. Yeah, so obviously I felt okay. First, I felt happy, and cause it's like the first ever award I kind of won. Even though it's not like the because I like winning competition or something, it's this one is like I proved that proved to other people that I've done my CCA duties and my job, and then it's also gonna help me for my what's that the EAE, especially the what I'm go is the attend uh like an IT course. So it's all these oh. like CCA stuff are. Uh, it's gonna be very good. Cause I saw from my normal CCA, I still got a, a certificate. So when you say prove people wrong, what does it mean? No, not prove people wrong. Prove pe prove to people that I've done my CCA duty and not like try dodge. Cause oh, like, remember I'm not sure if you remember. Me, yeah, cause I told you my, my like, the two some... VP uh, they are like free yeah freeloader. But thank God this time uh, they have gotten this award. This one is given to the CCA uh to like the people. See. Yeah, the, to like the EXCO people. So like anyone, like everyone in EXCO will get it. This one. But then the, the award I showed you just now, the that one is only for people who like actually put in the effort and like for do a lot more years. stuff. Yeah. And mm -hmm. now we for uh, three, three or two. Uh, three or two. Three years. Won't uh, years uh, three yeah, three and years, and years at least. Uh. Three years. Uh. But yeah. then, as long as you see consistency already, then can already. Because like mm. any event, like Hari Raya, Chinese New Year, Speech Day, uh... Was a national day, any event, if they see you like probably like eighty percent or eighty five percent always go help out or like volunteer to help, then 
Yeah, then they will give awesome. you Awesome. Yeah, it's a commitment, dedication, and your discipline, right? Yep. So lead you to the success of yet last Friday to get the yep. awards. I'm definitely the... happy, but I want to award I want to now award this like a competition like how HR won his what debate one right or is it debate or speech? Yeah, debate. I I, I want I want win one like speech, that one feel speech, makes, speech, that speech. one makes you feel like more accomplished if you ask me like it's like you beat other people to get where you are if you ask me yeah. that one's like in a way a different sense of like achievement if you think about it. Definitely, yeah, it's very true. Agree, agree. So just take note that uh all this is your discipline, your efforts. That's why you are successfully got these awards and rewards. And most important things, uh, continue to, to, to improve and continue to bring more success to yourself. As this one, we talk about success and, and discipline. And I think it's come at the best time for you, uh, Tianyu, that you can see the, the link of these this one topics. And what is the true definition of success? Maybe you can read to the class. Uh, Tianyu. Hi. Noun, the favorable or prosperous? Prosperous, yeah. Oh, yeah, prosperous, the term, terminations of attempts or endeavors, the accomplishment of one's goal, the attainment of wealth, position, honor, or the like. So, same the thing, right? You see your accomplishments of what you have, attain your goal. Yeah. And the attainment of wealth is not about the money that the school gave you, but the wealth of knowledge, the wealth of experience. And the well of dedications that will bring you closer to your EAE and your others um, interview next time that will be a good stepping stone for a good position and honors for yourself. Uh, just like the hunting also say all these awards are uh, your your grandchildren, your children will look at you as a role model, a very successful person. Uh, not to say uh, I get the best terrorist award. <laughs> I bomb the most people. How many you bomb? <laughs> I bought two hundred people. I like a uh, It's just like in the World War Two, huh? I mean, you know the, the when they shot down a lot of pi- Japanese plane, right? Then you put a lot of sticker of the Japanese flag. Uh, or, or even the two Japanese who go round to Nanjing massacre to two ja- two lieutenant, uh, they take the samurai sword and kill the amount of people there. Uh, that is that is to them their success story, yeah. Uh, but to them it's a horrible story, yeah. Uh. By using this kind of success, it's wrong. Uh. Your success must come to, to save the world, to help mankind, to improve the quality of your life and future people, it's not to destroy people's life. That is wrong. And are you really ready to this next one? Next one, okay. What is an example of a euphoria? Yeah, correct. Euphoria, right? Yes, you are right. right euphoria. 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 Oh, never mind. <laughs> there you you Euphoria. Euphoria. Yeah. Alright, it's the experience. Yeah. Euphoria. Oh, euphoria. Alright, yeah, it's the experience or effect of pleasure or excitement and intense feelings of well-being and happiness. Certain natural natural rewards and social activities such as acro acrobic exercise, laughter, listening to or making music and dancing can induce a state of euphoria. So, uh, will you feel very euphoric? Sing Gao Tai Li. Uh, small, uh, small, 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 I suddenly I lost the words. Uh. Okay, I we know the Singao Chai Li is a small uh by Hua Lu Fan. Uh, is a small fan. I can't remember, I'm sorry. So do you feel that kind of joy when you go to the stage and everyone cry for you? Did did, did you see any background? Yay! Woo, wee, wee. That kind of sound. Okay, a bit. It's just clapping, uh, not that. But then my my friend, when I go down, they, then my friend say they did ah, uh, but just not long enough. But then one of my other friend, he should know who. <laughs> the more he woke up ah, uh, he his classmate they all scream for him yeah. So loud, very loud. Ah, uh, Singhua Lu Fan, Dui Singhua Lu Fan. So it's something. If I'm not mistaken, it's Singhua Lu Fan. That means yes, you feel like you're you're on cloud nine, or correct lah. Mm-hmm. As happy as a lot, I know you know you are so yep. 
<coughs> yeah, you feel a, a, a sense of very good achievement and you feel that, no, remember, uh, Tanya, you, you were last year, you were talking about writing an email, a letter to your teacher, right? Mm -hmm. About this situation, this case, and then you talk, 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 while you feel, ah, yeah, you know, feel very, Uncle, Uncle Raymond, why are, uh, why my, this, this year is so lousy. Remember unfair, last year, unfair. you came back, huh? So unfair. Yeah, unfair, unfair. Uh, unfair. Uh, this year, you can just sabo, you can just you know, your, 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 your morals and your motivations, yeah. your discipline, like, yeah, going down to the dreams. I told you, uh, every time when you're down to the slope, to the creep, uh, when you start to climb out, you feel good about it, especially you took away all your marks and your no. scratches, your blood, your pains and suffering. Then when you reach to the top of it, you know that no pain, no gain, uh, that is the word. Uh, right? Uh, so uh please uh, uh I, I know this is the last year I see you all. Uh next year if I see you, it's like we go out to have coffee, have a group of the wheel of the time, not teaching you anymore. But think about it, it's, uh take this as a golden of opportunities to see yourself that this is only one part of the successful story. But all these the success stories, a successful story behind have a lot of things called the discipline ingredients. Without this discipline, you will not have a euphoria to enjoy the success of your life. So there will be more to come. The next year will be your euphoria for your O-level, then for your A-level of poly, and then slowly for your university. And those of you who are going NS, you know you will go army. And sometimes you go to army. And my advice is when you're in the army, get as many awards as possible. If you can volunteer yourself. And if, uh, if let's say you are in the officer cadet course, that will be good. Oh, <laughs> Zach. <coughs> Zachary something. Uh. After the training, uh, they sick uh, poor thing. Wait, Zachary energy for what again? Huh? He, he should have energy, right? Because he taking energy, right? Who is taking energy? Uh Zach, I thought you said he go energy. No, oh, taking the school uh competitions. Yeah, energy. Uh. Huh? Competition or energy? NSG, NSG, correct. Energy, uh. NSG. Yeah, energy. For, for what uh? did he say? I forgot. I didn't Saving, know. Saving. Swimming? Yeah. Oh. Sailing, sailing. Sailing, sailing. Sailing. Not sailing, sorry. Oh, never mind. I, I, thought, I thought he fought one of my friends. Because one of my friends, he also did it for our school, swimming. Yeah, if, I, uh, sailing, sure, if I knew sailing. it in sec one, right, I would have done it, bro. I would have, I would have tried. I would have yeah, done don't it. try. Not try, not try, not try. I would have done it. Yeah, you, you have to understand. It. Uh, it's never too late to learn something. Mm -hmm. I'm really 55. Yesterday was my birthday. I tell myself I'm going to set a path to have more things to come along. So it's never too late to learn anything. Yeah. Then can you relearn yeah. your break dance? I don't mind like, if I can. Break dance is more like break back, bro. <laughs> yeah. So later you I just think, yeah, later yeah, you pull dance on the full break or, or later you your break. Crack! You know? <laughs> 60 Crap. plus, 70 plus, there are still people doing a break dance. Okay, to ask to, to, to answer your break dance question, uh, look at this one. Your level of success is determined by your level of discipline and perseverance. So if I really have the discipline and perseverance to learn break dance, I will continue to learn. But now dancing is just not my cup. I will learn, I want to learn martial arts and tai chi. That will keep myself healthy. That, that doesn't mean break dance cannot. Break dance is too vigorous. Really too much energy to use. Maybe martial art, I can still learn the motions and things like that. Also protect myself as a police officer. Okay, I also every year I have to go and visit my combat training. So keep fit up. It's very important. All right. So next thing we talk about self-discipline is the number one delineating de 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 fact factors between the rich, the middle class and the poor. Okay, delineating. That means it's the separations so self-discipline, you see, uh, rich people wake up very early in the morning to know what they want. So now the day I wake up very early, I know what I want. I will go for exercise, keep myself fit, buy breakfast for my parents, for my mom, for my wife. Okay, and then after that, start to, to do my reading up. And uh, what else? Uh, I, I want to learn Japanese and Malay. I hope I pick up some words there and start to prepare for my new books and things like that and move on. Like today, I went to Clark Key to set up the camera. So um, that is the difference. Then how was so Zhu Dai Zhu? Sitting there not doing anything. Give me a minute. Uh, I, I want to call Kang Yao to see whether he's able to join. Because now he's not using the normal phone. So uh, just 
just see whether both of you can explain what I mean by the self discipline between the the good student, the average student, and the poor student. Uh. Can you give example huh? thing for poor. one minute. Oh, never no, mind. The rich poor the student class. is a poor result. Oh, no, no. Huh? Poor result. Uh, now the poor has the money. Hello. Oh, poor result. You sleep yeah. No, it's not a bit messy. You did not switch off your laptop, huh? Oh, be, be a, okay, I wait for you. Uh, password is not. Can you use handphone? Not? Oh, no, cannot. You got no handphone. Uh. Uh, yeah. your, your mom not in. Uh. Uh, you see what you can do. They, or you call your mom first. If not, then no choice. You wait for a while and update. Okay? Okay, take care. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, take care. Can you Bye. Okay, uh, the Zoom for Kang Yang is not working and the password is not working. So, uh, what is the difference between the rich, the poor, no, the, 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 uh, the hardworking, the average, and the poor result student? What is the difference, uh, honey? How can you tell the student are very hardworking, disciplined? That's why they are top student like yourself and honey. Sure, and let me just let you know that I'm not exactly your top student. No, no, you just hardworking. You, in my eyes, all of you are top students, not is in terms of result and bro. Not A1 and not the seven A1s I'm talking. That one is uh nerds. I call them the nerds right here. Okay. I, I'm I'm people last time call me fragged nerds. Uh. You know it's fragged nerds. Uh. Nope. You know, you know it's a fragged uh. There's a word. So fragged or faggot? Fragged or faggot? Fragged. What's fragged? We only know faggot. Fragged is is a gear. Oh, oh, we say we say it differently in our generation, so. We say it gay. We call it gay now. Uh, we, we just call it gay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. They just, just, they just jealous of me, and I know they call me that kind of words. You know, give me nicknames and things like that. But I never been good in my math. I can score A one and A two. Uh, or the worst is B three for my humanity subjects. I never score A one for my math. The it's okay, Joe. Not everyone is good. Not yeah. everyone needs math. Like yeah. myself, like myself. You see, my yeah, math mathematics is, failure. My highest is B three. My worst is E eight lah for math. E eight. That is true. Yeah. My A math. I've gotten two F nines. E eight is worse. I think I got the ungraded before. So you see, ah, uh, the uh, the rich, the uh, the intelligent. Uh, no, no, I never use the word intelligent. I use the word hardworking. Ah, uh, students yeah. and average student and poor students. Ah, uh. poor as in poor result. What causes them to have poor result? I didn't say poor student has in money terms. Ah, 贫穷的学生, ah. 这个贫穷是 another way of talking about it. Ah. Uh, in terms of attitude, behavior, and characters. Uh, to me, I categorize uh, hardworking students uh, will be students that is willing to sacrifice their time for playing games into more discipline in study, like myself. Uh, but before that, I used to play a lot, lot so it caused my result. So if I can turn back the clock, I will start to continue to work hard and study more. That is a hardworking, the top student. A top student not necessarily must be 7A1. A top student means they know how to juggle between work, studies, and playtime. And the most important things are, even last night, I worked part-time. Uh, uh, that was the sad thing where I worked part-time, uh, 15 years old. Uh, was a horrible time for me. Uh. Though, though, although I earned a bit of couples of money, dollars, a few hundred dollars, to them, to me, uh, in the 1980s, uh, a few, uh, one, two hundred dollars more is really a lot to us. Uh. Now, one, two hundred dollars, even though to you may be quite a lot, quite a lot, maybe it's enough. But to my generation, one, two hundred is like five, five, six hundred dollars, that kind of money. Can buy a lot of things. Uh. But at that time, there are not much things to buy, uh, to be honest. So I affected my studies. So my self discipline dropped quite badly in set three. I think all of us has experienced the set three syndrome. Okay, I call it the set three syndrome where everyone has this phobia going through that the channel of set three. In fact, now my DCL set three also a lot of them complaining about their life in set three. I don't know why. It seems like every year those set three students will have experience this. So in future, your children or your nieces and nephew or your, your cousins will go set three. Please pre-warn them. And this is the time where you know make a difference. Then there's a wake up call. So Harley, how do you define hardworking middle age, a middle and, and poor student? 
hardworking. The difference between hardworking and spoil is that hardworking, right? Over time, right, you'll see yeah. like small improvements in the results that show like yes. that they are improving, they're changing, and they're re-innovating themselves to be better. But then, right, like people who are just bad, I'm just gonna throw it out there. People who are just plain bad, you will see, you see that it's either stagnant or just not improving. That's one of the biggest factors to see the difference, uh. Because like the stagnant people will stay stagnant, the, the people who want to improve it. How what makes them to be stagnant? Uh? What is your definition of stagnant students who the who the uh student who do not improve their grades? Or Those just who the... don't have a desire to improve and yes. then don't improve. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this all this can be written in the essay. Uh? Even as we are talking to this differentiate between the, the hardworking, the middle, and the poor students in terms of academic studies. We can actually filter it in different levels to make it understand, to make it feel better, to feel make it when you're writing an essay, you can have three different paragraphs. And the conclusion, we all know that the hardworking lots of students will definitely score well. Uh people say hard work, but you don't you work hard and not smart is no good. I I do agree with these statements and to a certain extent or to a large extent, but I feel that if you are a smart student, yes, you can get good results, but if you don't have the hard work, uh, no doubt how much you smart it is, uh, you might get the shortcut and learn, but it doesn't be all the ways. Your smartness might last to certain items, not everything. Where else the hard work is there, is the foundation, is the main purpose in life that you need to be there. If you are not hardworking, uh, well, I'm not sure what you're going to do next. Okay? So, yes, thank you, uh, Harleen. Uh, how about the middle uh, student? The middle student is like... The guy who is okay, there's a multiple different types of middle students. Uh, there's some that are improving, some that are in the midst of improving, some that completely have not improved, among others. Mm. But I'd say the most common type is the uh, the the some who are improving, like they like they realize that they have they they're like their grades aren't that good. And then uh through that realization they start working on themselves day by day. Self-actualization, yeah. Yes. And then they just yes. improve. And then there's others who go in the opposite direction. Where they realize that there's an issue and then somehow manage to deprove. Hey bro, does it sound like you now sometimes? I mean self-actualization, yes. No, no, no. The very... middle students. Yeah, some a bit like that. Huh? I, I'm 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 a bit like the guy who's like in the middle of the pack, you know. Like I, I'm not I'm not particularly the best at yeah. like anything. <laughs> there's there's always a contender at the top, you know what I mean? So there's like, always a bigger fish in the sea. Yeah, there's always a bigger fish in the sea. So like, yeah, I, I would I would never consider myself the best in anything, but I would say that I'm among the best in some things. Best in this player. I... I agree. I agree. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. It's a game character. It's a it's a game. Ah, that's why HL HL slacks off, man. He stops yeah, playing I'm... and then he loses. Ah, slacking, slacking. Yes. Report. Yes. <laughs> Report? Report. See ya, uh, uh Aling. Yeah. yeah, I think then you also have a middle middle uh symptom for uh, this. Cha, cha, cha. Huh? You, you gotta hear my explanation for all three. Okay, come. So I say right for the rich, okay, the rich and the four wait, the whole thing we are classifying is like the rich is the one who work hard, right? And the no, poor is the one not the rich, the I'm not the uh, for oh, Robert Kawasaki. Oh. Kawasaki means uh the rich means the rich people money one. But here okay. we are using this example as the, the hardworking, the middle, and the poor student. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see the reference. So, okay, okay, so you see. To me, I believe all of us are... Okay, they're in life. All of us, I think we all start around the same area. And most maybe some people get a hit start, like a bit gifted. Because let's say their parents are like all like uni students who like graduate like top and like, like lawyer, doctor, confirm their child is going to be most likely smart. That's like a... Okay, 90, 90% smart. But then, there's a reason why they separated as the rich and the poor or the hardworking and the one that, if I will call it, slacking. Uh. It's because some of them, right, all of us start in the middle, if you ask me. Uh, and most like, uh, some people a bit above the middle. Like, out of five, then some people start at six, while everyone starts at five. But it's, for people who wants to improve, then they will like, hard, will continue working hard to improve themselves from five to slowly up six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whereas there's some other people who just completely give up on themselves or like just feel like oh 
there's better things to do rather than just doing like how like change their own life and then they just go down 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 it's like studying when we go to school okay for public school uh, uh those good school is a bit harder for them to say but for public school there's a reason why they separate in three three exactly. years and it's not because of the grades itself it's also i also think it's also because of the people itself like because there's a reason why a lot of people say, oh, all those vapors are in an NA and NT. There's a reason why people say it. They don't just say it for fun. There's a re- always a reason why right. yes, people yes, say yes. or do something. Yes. And that's like, I have seen so far, it's not wrong. Because from Express student in my whole entire cohort, I only know one person that vapes for Express only. But then NA and T, I can just go walk into a school toilet and then I just can smell the vape. Which is like, those people are like what I call the poor in a way as they've given up on themselves in a way already. Or maybe they use their method to cope, but it's not like they're really the right method of coping. But I won't like judge them for that because everyone has different coping method. But there are some other people who just completely don't bother. Like, they don't even show up for school. Like, there's one, my sec 2 class had some person, but he has never shown up for school a single day. I'm, we're not sure what happened. Uh, even my teachers uh, don't know. But Seriously? Yeah, I feel like he might cancel yeah. school but never tell on or something, I don't know. Oh but my god. If but if let's say that's not the case, but he just like give up, he don't want to study, then those are what I call the poor. The one that just do not wish to like a, for a better version of themselves. Like the better version is not the right better version. Like they can be like say, Oh, I wanna be the best vapor or I wanna be the best like I don't know, uh, like gangster or something. Those are like in a way the better version of themselves to them, but not a better version to the other people who sees them are. Uh. Oh so that's God. why I say like the the rich and the poor. Then for the middle it's mainly just people who like what HL say already, it's really about some people, like somehow people can just don't want to improve or like someone deprove, which I think is like they fall into like the wrong yeah. uh, mixed with wrong people uh, and then yeah, something like that. Uh, all that yeah. Yes, I agree. Very sad to say how about you? I agree with you ten you those poor people is they don't have the the self motivation, self actualization, self love, self discipline, mm-hmm. uh, self belief, and self confidence. Uh, wow, Chenfu Mayo. Uh, Hanling, do you agree? Those uh, I I forgot to ask you about the poor students. What okay. is your um? Unfortunately, we in our school we don't have many uh examples of these poor students. About I can. Why you, you say one... unfortunately? You should be say fortunately. Wow, bloody mm-hmm. hell! No, I I say unfortunately because of what I'm going to say next. Oh, there is sorry. there is a very Can't unique give an example. There, there is a very sorry, sorry. unique case in our life school, example. Uh, life example. Uh, there's a very <laughs> unique case in our school, where um okay this guy, uh, let's let's name him uh. uh Peter. What, what should, he, let's why? name him Peter. Let's name him Peter. Okay. So, I can't help. Peter. Peter. He's a uh, he's he's not talented or anything. He's just well, an average student. He well he used to participate in class actively. But uh, at one point he has decided that oh no I don't I do let, school is not not for me, and he and I'm too cool for school as a lot of people would describe him in this way. Uh, so what what happened was he decided it would be an it would be a pretty smart idea to skip school, play truant, and then go do like stuff like smoking, vaping, oh my drinking, god, all these things. Oh my god, we haven't we we've only touched the tip of the iceberg, Joe. You can. Oh, you can yeah, like, but it's enough already. Yeah, you that, see, that's, that's the worst cash, cash with the iceberg is already tip of the iceberg. Right? That's true. That's uh, true. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. But like, it's, it's, it's not like uh, in the case of the Titan, you couldn't dig deeper. In my oh. case, we can dig far, far, far deeper. Yes. And that's, one of the, that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people in our school say he's not a factor. He's, he's possibly the most notorious person. Uh. Wow, so, really? He, he, he even has police cases. He's not from my class. He even has one or two police cases, I think. One or Why? Two. Okay, Carol. Carol. He has one or two police cases, and yeah, that's all I know about him. Got vaping? Yeah, he vapes. Most likely, yeah, I smoke confirm got vaping. So, Kang Yao, we are talking about these two pictures here, Kang Yao. Oh, Kang Yao, these two pictures. You can hear me, oh? Yeah, these two pictures. We are talking about this self discipline. We are, uh, Robert Kawasaki, we're talking about rich middle and class and poor class. He's talking about wealth. You uh. But here we change it to the hardworking, the middle student and the poor student. Poor student in terms of not money, they're the poor. Uh. Poor in their result, poor in their academic. So, uh, Hanin was talking about one of these students 
in his school. Hey, sorry to interrupt you, uh, honey. You see, uh, for this Peter, just uh, give a fictitious name. Uh, for this Peter, Peter who are in your school now, how can you get to your school? He's a child of your school. Huh? That is really very sad to see a good leader. Uh, a good leader becomes so unsuccessful. Now I understand why you say unfortunately. Okay, now I understand your, your, your terms. That's such very a wasted spot, Sal. Wasted spot. Like, imagine being the person who, who was like the other, like probably the other person who had gotten in, but they just had to waste it on some, someone who just wasted it themselves. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, Dr. Tian Yu just now gave a diagnostic about poor students' analysis. Huh? 他们所谓自甘堕落啊，他们明的可以。我以前是这样的，天佑。以前我三岁就是真的是差一点哦，完蛋了。所以，like no, don't have the driving force. So, uh, I think it's good, Hanling and Tianyu, to tell Kang Yao to not give up because your little brother here is set three. It's very tough for him. I think you all two have went through the shit of your life since last year's set three. So, Hali, uh, what is the conclusion with Peter? Any conclusion? That, that poor conclusion, student? Conclusion, uh, he's not poor. He just made some bad choices in life. And uh, it, it, whether he can change it or not now is... It's not whether he can change it or not now. It's how much he can say, how much he can save himself by before it, it all goes down now. Yeah, three or seven, four? Uh, same, same age as me. Oh my god, this is all level this year. I think maybe Jerry, yeah. Joe, at this point he doesn't think, really I care. Think, so. I think it's better if you say yeah. sex three or sex four. Sex because four. some people some I, people like, just... there's one person in my friend's class. He he's going to came from China. I don't know. He's apparently like seventeen or eighteen, but he's still in sex four. Oh but no, I because, because this is a, I got students who are eighteen years old doing sex set for yeah. private candidates. Yeah, it's like one of my it's like my cousin. Oh. My cousin they have to uh, because of the... their 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 requirements yeah. are correct now. Because they need, they, remove, they need retain the, the year like yeah because the previous their year, the previous year. their countries are not as high as ours in our country. So they have to go down by one or two level, usually two level, very sad, huh? Sad but not sad in a way. Because like if they are like yes. maybe like talented, like, wow, it's just free stacking so you think about it. It's no, free award. They, Thought and subject, you think about it. Correct. You see, uh, he might he or she might start late late in life, uh, and behind you for schedule, uh. But once he clears this O levels exam and further on, uh, he will fly or she will fly oh, as sure. well. Sure, in the one the student I was talking about, I you know, uh, for academic out of seven subjects he took, he top five of them, and then he also got scholarship during speech day. Wow, from your school, huh? Yeah, from my school. So you see, this is about the rich, uh, rich student, which is in terms of hardworking and full of discipline. So thank you, honey, for sharing this Peter in your school. Uh, I, I never expect a school a student in your school like that. So my gut feel is why is this student from a, a hardworking to suddenly middle and then suddenly to poor might be due to his family background, his personal issue in terms of maybe a family background too stressed until he wants to be rebellious against his parents. We never know, but I think we wish him all the best oh, yeah. to succeed, succeed in life. Uh, he might not succeed now if we can see from what you told us. He might be really screwed up his O level, but that is not the end of his journey unless he say bye bye to this world. As far as he still got the perseverance, and look at Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Pele, Maradona, all the top football players, they do have certain ups and downs. Sometimes they took drugs and things like that. So life is really like a a sailing a ship. Z is not here. Z will tell you through sailing it is always wave. Okay. Uh, are you okay, Kang Yao? Uh, who is that? Your mama? Is that your mommy? Oh, okay. Say hi. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on now. Why discipline? Also, uh, Kang Yao, can you share with us uh, what is your definition for hardworking student, for middle students, and poor student? For me, um, hardworking students uh really have great sacrifice, uh, great perseverance, and good things to do like disciplines. And that's why they make the top. You see, uh, hardworking students, I'm not saying top student as in terms of 7A1 or 8A1 or 9A1 or even 10A1. Uh. That one is called a nerd student. Uh. Okay. I never scored that 10 a ones before. And I think, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe I asked the three of you, would you want your child to get 10 a ones? Uh, it's good to have, uh, but I don't think it's, uh, I don't know. It's feel good, right? 
So, Hartley, do you think 10 A1 is good for your son or daughter? Honestly, um, if he puts pressure on on the child, no. Definitely not. No one, uh? Yeah. I, I would personally prefer my child to live for that girl. To uh, re, re, uh, maybe a 10-pointer, 12-pointer, that kind of things, uh? No, no. Mm, um, if at 12, 12 points, I'm already quite happy, man. Tell me? 12 points, I'd already be quite happy. Okay, how about you, can you? Uh, I do okay, want see, your see first. Yeah. I, I won't say 10 because uh, realistically the no one has 10 no, subs there but yo, yo, say, yo. okay okay huh? no. Oh, okay, no 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 okay I just start from my point of view 7 at most because uh, from our school is 7 or 8 uh, but 7 so 7 I won't want her all 7 unless she's naturally gifted uh. if not I would rather her get like at least 2 to 3 A and then the others all can be like B or C to me because personally I believe I don't want to waste my child's like the childhood age to just oh every day study 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 because it's the only time we really get to experience fun and like go out with friends have fun before like we go out into the working age but at the same time that doesn't mean like oh three A's and then after that, all the others F9 nine ah, but I, <laughs> I want at least a pass ah, at least a pass if not a D7 ah, so that they have like targets soon to work on but yeah really in our childhood even though it's tough I want like our child to just go out and relax I bet just go out, at least go out, go out with friends or like go bowling or something. Have talk to others rather than just every day come home, lock herself in the room or himself in the room and then just study. Yeah. Oh, I think you have been brainwashed by Uncle Raymond already. Uh, I told you, right? Coming to my class is not about A1 in study, uh, A1 in your attitude, behavior, characters. Uh, so, can we have a good discipline in terms of balance and work life? Wow, brainwashed by me. Oh, yeah, sure. I want to ask you, do you see that one case? Like, quite recently only like two two three days ago about the children trying to sue the father over like the the house the father had so many properties like bought landed properties for the child but the father like we sell they sell one of them and then the daughter is not happy with it and then the daughter like try to sue the father or something no really i haven't read yeah, this really. in singapore it's yeah in singapore singapore oh like, and, and what's worse all the children of the the person support the person uh the the daughter rather than the father Oh my god. So can I put up the motto so it's all zero if you're Yeah, it's yeah, that it's a. about ABC again now. Yeah. Attitude behavior and character. Thank you. Okay, Kang Yao, let me let, let us hear video. from you. Uh, let us hear from you. What is Wait, your def- Okay, thanks. Uh what is your definition for hardworking student, middle student, and poor student? Um hardworking student is they are um, they, they they pay attention to to the classes and mm-hmm. they they do the home they don't they don't just do homework they do the homework properly and uh they uh contribute for CCA and they if they if they have SLs they do their SL duties properly. Mm-hmm. Carry on. Uh for the middle student is just listen to class and just do homework and uh abide by the rules. Uh that's the top uh sorry, hard working and disciplined student now. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, what about the readers and the poor? The middle is just listen to class, to pass out homework and uh just uh don't do anything that's against the rules. And the poor oh, student. Is that a middle student? Yeah, that's a middle student. Oh, okay. And uh poor student is uh those that bully others, make uh bully others, they don't do homework or they bully they... others, uh, middle yeah. student. Oh, no, I'm no, surprised poor, you hear poor, that. Poor, 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 poor. Oh, how about the middle one? I didn't catch you in your middle. Middle one is just listen to class and just pass out homework. Oh, that's all. Just be the go to go to that. Yeah. Just just go through the day. I just so want to say, my homework submission rate for AMF is like zero, because I I can't do the assignment. It's way too hard. Oh, uh, the go to go to that. Do a little more than do a little more. That's why I don't understand why your school enforced to study AMF. Why don't they enforce to study pure history? Why must be AMF? I so don't know. Top in AMF, uh, so what is the big deal? You mean all of them will be engineers? 
You mean A maths can be good better than languages? I don't understand. Then the principal said, then you don't study in my school law. This is a compulsory subject. Right? You should know when you enroll your child into my school. True enough, right? but I like the school, but I don't like the system. I like the teacher, but I don't like the way the enforcement of AMS is compulsory. I find it is very communist dictatorship. <laughs> you should give the child a choice, correct? Communist? But, I mean, our school our school is kind of communist, don't you? Yeah, the color <laughs> tells us, uh, I know. <laughs> I know, okay. So it, so Keep it to ourselves, so so okay. So anyway, uh, your school is one of the best school, good school. Uh. Uh, well, best school and unique and good school. Uh, Kang Yao, sorry, what about the poor student? The poor student is those students that um uh, bully others. They the they don't pass up homework and they just uh just uh go against uh, go against the rules. Mm. That's all. Yeah. Sad to say, uh, I think you can see that in your school, right? Every one of you, whether you are from which school you come from. They're sure to have this high chin ma black sheep, black uh, black sheep, not black horse, black sheep or, or black eggs. Uh. Uh, sometimes you have to think why they suddenly from a good result, they turn into bad result, turn into poor students in terms of academic study. It's why, look here, uh, all related to today's, today's topic is why discipline is essential for success. So if you're telling me, hey, where's my mouse? If you're telling me that these students who are poor, Means they see the difference between the poor and the, the hardworking disciplined student. There's a big parity, a big range uh, uh, that you cannot see that it's possible to close the gap. So look at this gentleman or lady. I can't really tell. I'm so sorry. I say these humans. As uh, you know, you look at the far horizons. Uh, he's, he or she, or maybe this, this person was looking for his forward challenges and positive and ways of how do you realize that this discipline works on you. You only got a couple of months to complete your final year examination this year. Like it or not, every month, every year, as long as you're studying, it's always full of challenges. Even after when you graduated, you become an adult. You come out to work. You have always faced a lot of challenges and disciplines. Look at your parents waking up early in the mornings, come back home late. So these are all about disciplines because they know that they have many good leaders like yourself to support. Back to you, uh, Kang Yao, would you mind read to the class, please, the next two paragraphs? Thank you, sir. Uh, it took me many years to realize that discipline is not a dirty word, that discipline is the true key to success. All the other success factors will not work without discipline. I fought hard against this fact for many years. Stubbornly, I wanted to do it my way. I have always hated to be told what to do desperately pushing against the norm and status quo. I finally realized that my struggle was against myself, that there are times when we need to follow the crowd and do what countless others have done to be successful. Uh, may I ask the three of you, why the, the author say or the, the, the narrator say that discipline is not a dirty word? Can someone explain to me what he means by that? Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, I think you don't send it. Uh, uh, you send to the WhatsApp. Ma. You should send to WhatsApp. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, that's right. that's right. that's right. that's right. so, 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 honey, what do you mean by that discipline is not a dirty word? Huh? You mean the vulgarity word? Uh? I think discipline is not a dirty word, my main that. Uh, it's not like uh, Imagine it's not like it's a word. Is... Passage, uh? In your own words, please explain the uh, author what it means by discipline is not a dirty word. So this is a comprehension passage. It, it means go. that uh, it means that the uh, the 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 presence of discipline or lack thereof might uh might not be something that can uh change permanently change another person's character. I got you, but still not the ingredient I want to find, not the concoctions I want to see. Yes, I find you. I I feel you. Okay. Uh, any more? Then you, you think about it, huh? Cha cha cha. You see, this thing reminds me of English. Oh, I actually know it is English. And literature, they ask you to, what's that, emphasize it. I just thought about it. I just, I'm just gonna try structure it because it's all in my brain. So I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna try. I will do. I just structure it. I just tell you what my brain is thinking about it. So you see, the you know what's the meaning of dirty? It means like something like oh, okay, not really 
something. But dirty, you know, everyone will throw it away. Cause, uh, that's why like dirty the stuff like you won't want to keep dirty things in your house, right? So dirty, that's the meaning of word dirty. And then they say well, discipline is not a dirty word. Your mom or anyone will always say, "Oh, you need your discipline need to be very high. Like you, you need to have good discipline and stuff." They keep on talking about it, and then the reason why they say that is because some people are just oh, if in thing, if in too, and then the world will just become dirty in a way that oh, the the world who who told you is meant to be inside you. No, nope, you just throw it away. That's why it's like dirty, similar to dirty. That's why. Uh, that's my guess. That's my thing. Ah, uh. uh, that's why I think. Ah, uh. that's why they say. The discipline is not a dirty word. Okay, it's not something you. you should be what you should throw away easily. The two of your answers are very close to my ingredients, but it's not the ingredient I'm looking for. Thank you very much. How about Kang Liao? Uh, so discipline means obey uh, a rule. So obey a rules or code of behavior, and so, uh, the dirty word to him is uh, like it's taboo. So he doesn't. Uh, he he doesn't like the word he shunned from away from it and it's to say the second paragraph is said I fought hard against this fact because he wanted to do it his way he doesn't want to obey uh, the crowd he wanted to walk by the beat of his own drums uh, so that's why he but he realized that he should obey uh, he should follow the rules for, uh, to be successful that's why he uh, realized that discipline is not a dirty word very, very close to my answer. Yes, the three of you, very, very close. I think the closest they are from Chacha. Tan Liao. Huh? Chacha, how I give a hint? Give a hint of what you want. Like, the, 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 yeah. your answer. I give want to hint. explain now. You know, we give a very, uh, very crude and very funny A. If I say, Ha Ling Ah, you, you are very dirty-minded. <laughs> so when people say dirty-minded, they think you, wow, you're so dirty-minded. Huh? So, Kan Yao, dirty things eh? why you talk about these dirty words dirty stuff eh? so the first thing when you come to dirty words dirty stuff uh, dirty mind you might think of pornography you might think of sexualities you might think of something that is very bad to, to harm people right correct not? right dirty money you know you know really you know why you think 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 you 你知道那整个过程，你知道如果你要放这个思想想法进去，你知道那个后果，you know the 后果. So the discipline is not a dirty word. Means that people re repeating like dirty things was clean off later on, right? So when you say that it's not a dirty word, meaning it is a dirty word, but you say that it's not a dirty word because discipline is a dirty word. Meaning that you have to go through a lot of shit, ma. Correct. You go through a lot of suffering. You go through a lot of sacrifice. You go through a lot of ups and down, and these are so called not physically dirty, but dirty in a sense in terms of maybe polluting your mind to be over disciplined, over indulged. So you see, when you're disciplined to become a terrorist, it's also dirty. When you want to discipline to become a murderer, a rapist, a murder, molester, or you want to discipline yourself to be a hardworking person, you forget about other things with you. So this word dirty is what your mentions are true, very close, but it means that. You don't take it like a taboo. You're right, Kang Yao. You don't take it like a taboo. You take it like it's part and parcel in it. Whether you like it or not, discipline is already there. It might be to you a dirty thing, a thing that is not nice to do it because you need to have a sacrifice. So for example, a commando, you need to go through the mud, the sweat, the up and down for seven days, no proper food with a survival knife and two pills that clean out the dirty waters. At the end of the day, you get a batch of a ranger. That is not easy. It's dirty stuff. But the result is different. You see, they say, last part, will not work without discipline. Everything has to go through a dirty process. Like a, a diamond has been covered by rocks, covered by marks. And then you have to clean it up. It becomes shining. So this is my explanation. It's not wrong. I'm not saying wrong. Maybe it's not close to my explanations. So when you come to this word, it's like, it's not a dirty word. First, you have to define dirty in three different meanings. Dirty has been very dirty. Second is dirty is not really dirty, but in terms of how you feel the word dirty. And third is dirty in terms of physical dirty. Now, seriously, if the three of you in the MRT, if you see a person, male or female, sitting there, and it's damn bloody smelly, okay, 
and it's really like how many days you're not washed, it's damn bloody smelly, and it's so bad, the stain is so around the cabin. Nobody wants to sit there, but you don't mind sitting there, even though you know there's strain, or maybe one seat away. To you, that person is dirty, yeah? As dirty, to the unsung physically. But a lot of people in their mind, they will be dirty and say, wow, my goodness, this is so dirty, so smelly, so I can do it. Think about it, yeah? If this person can be able to pay the, the, the MRT tickets to go in and take a train and know where to alight, I don't think it's an unsound mind. But maybe it's dirty because it's really homeless or whatever reason. So can you, let me give you an example yesterday. I It was my birthday. I went to Novena to have a lunch. So I brought my son and my wife in the train. I saw one auntie sitting a corner, the, the, the what seat? Uh? They call the preserve for the senior citizen seat. Ah, uh? uh, yeah. What you call that? Uh? The, the seat for senior citizen. Okay. Then on uh, this side. The priority seat. Uh, priority seat. Thank you. So at the side, uh, he put the bag uh, on the other side. Even if it's in the car, there are a lot of people in the car. I was looking at her as a clown, man. I, I still even shake my head. Uh, say, what is this? Uh? So my mind is really dirty. Thinking of this old woman, why like that? Cannot put on the floor, man. Must put on the chair. What's your problem? Uh, you take out an extra seat. Eh? Lemon, lemon. A green tea. Yeah. Eh? Not too sweet. Uh, so they are making coin for me. They are ordering coin. So you see, I'll tell you. You know, after that, uh, when there's an empty seat beside, I sit beside her. You know what happened? I can smell something not nice. Uh. So, oh my goodness. Uh, this lady, I think, is about coming late 60s, uh, early 70s. The moment you get out from Amokyo train station, right? I say Amokyo station. He, she can't even stand properly. She was wobbling and very tired and very weak. Oh, that woman, I say, uh, can you, my dirty mind of her changed to a very concerned mind. Can she get out of the train safe and sound and don't fall down? So, this dirty thing So, the dirty can be many different meanings. Uh. Okay, I'm just sharing with you from my yesterday experience. Uh. So, just nice. Uh. So, you see, uh, then suddenly I think of it, oh, but... Uh, It was running, everyone sitting beside, even the uh, commuters coming, seeing that she took out two seats, uh, and with the bag, blue bag on, blue color bag on top, uh, the top bag uh, on the seat. Uh, nobody say, hey, uh, auntie, uh, hey, you come here, you know what? You need a ticket to buy two people. You are the one who is the one. You are too crazy. But surprisingly, when I accident look at his, her handphone, uh, she's well, quite well educated. Then later I know Tan's not feeling well. Putting on the floor, but she might go down and bend and took out the floor quite heavy. So maybe she's waiting, uh, auntie, you don't mind you put down the bed. Maybe she will really put down the bed on the floor, but nobody approach her. So you see, I'm the one who start to think like that. Very sad. Uh. It all starts with making the right decision, having the right goal. You agree? Kang Yao, next one. Uh when you set a clear goal that you want, that you know is right for you, it is easier to employ self-discipline to achieve it. If you choose to run a marathon, it is very clear that uh, with the right training plan, what you need to do to achieve that goal. If you choose to start a business, get healthy, get healthy or be a nicer person, these goals are a little more open to in, inter, inter, interpretation. 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 And unless you get specific about what exactly that means to you, you are less likely to be successful with your goals. Go. When setting goals, be clear about what it is you are striving for and then break and then break it down into ne steps necessary to achieve the goal. After doing that, this it will be easier to track and reach the goal. Exactly, I think it's very uh, resonate and very close to your heart, Kanya. So you have so many things on your plate because so many subjects is all the triple science, pure, so many things. You see, you have worked hard for the past year to be successful to what you are today in set three level with all the triple pure science, AMAX, EMAX, and all the subjects. You should be proud of yourself. But now you say, I'm going to remember, I don't have discipline. I don't have enough time. You see, you lack of the planning, Kanya. You need to have able to understand what you want to achieve in your goal. A lot of people are Kang Yao and Tian Yu and Harding. A lot of my friends and relatives, hey Raymond, how you find time 24 hours when you do so many things, uh, 
you do police force, uh, you give tuition, you do business, uh, you do other things as well, uh, and take care of your mom, and then give uh, uh, guidance to your children and, and do these so many things. Kang Yao, Tian Yu, Han Ling, you think about this sentence, right? As long as you have a heart, anything can happen. Tian Xia Wu Nan is only afraid of people. You look at your parents, from the time you were born to now, they didn't even complain. Oh my goodness, Han Ling is so bloody ugly. Give away. They didn't say that. They were ignorant, foolish, selfish, and so on. 是这样啊，埋头苦干啊。他的 goal 就是 have the having the right goal and decision。我就是要把这个儿子培养成才，培养长大是一个秀才，一个人才，一个有用的，对社会有贡献。That is the most important. And yet you guys have feel one way or another to your parents. Seriously, don't mind. I'm one of them also. I have to admit, all of us sitting here. I believe your parents also last time did that to your grandparents, and your grandparents also did that to their their parents. This is a vicious cycle. But when we know how to wake up ourselves, that is when, ladies and gentlemen, Zachary, if you are hearing this, Zachary, I know you are not feeling well. I wish you good health. Recover soon. So if you are listening to this, uh, please, need to plan. Every time I plan, uh, doesn't work. I really plan. So now I make myself every month and plan what to do. If you don't plan, you are wasting the time. You see, is it my 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 this month? I need to plan to come out the boot camp for next month for set one set two boot camps English class. I need to plan my for my duty for my police after one month of medical leave. I need to plan for for my son's birthday, for my own birthday, for my uh makeup tuitions for a lot of things coming up. You cannot just take it like oh okay tomorrow third fourth year. You need to write. You got a calendar in your handphone. Plan it. You got notebook. Write down. Like yesterday when I came back from my my lunch, I saw a Malay girl. He really wrote down a lot of things on the calendar. I, how can I tell? He opened up his book, her book, and write down the plan. I did not purposely want to look at her things. Ah, she had opened up. Everyone can see. And he was going back home with his packet of rice, haven't eaten yet. The Malays are getting better now. Twenty thirty years ago, you might say the Malays are useless, no good, everything take drugs. And not racist to them, but the Malays now are super good, and I'm very proud to say that they are super good. And I'm if very glad. If only the Malaysian government can be better. Uh, very sensitive, bro. I understand what you feel, but you see, every country do have. Let's well, agree that the Malaysian government is just horrendous. Gone. No, I, I, I genuine horrend, genuinely no, horrendous. Think, sir, sir, I think uh, take one or two generations. Ah, uh, I think Malaysia will come out. You can see if you are. Uh, can you? From ten years ago, you went to Malaysia, and ten years ago, now you go to Malaysia. You can see there's some improvement, right? Let's be honest. Some, but I definitely think, I say it's not. I say it's the wrong people are leading the country right now. Leading the country, that the 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 success. Yeah. But I think I Mr. Anwar, Mr. Anwar may do a good job. But the problem is, once Mr. Anwar retire and once Mr. Anwar pass the baton, can the next leadership be the same as Mr. Anwar? Let the same or not, people say. Once Mr. Dita Lee Kuan Yew retired and passed away, can Lee Sen Lee Sen Long did uh Go Chao Tong do did a good job, and one Go Chao Tong passed to Lee Sen Long, can Lee Sen Long do a good job? And now, uh, in few days time, Mr. Lawrence Wong will take over Lee Sen Long. Can Mr. Lawrence Wong take a good job? That's why they say Fu Fu Guo Shan Dai. The business will not pass through three generations. Is it true? How come the American, the Westerner, can pass down to so many generations and live out to one century? Why? It's about discipline and making the right decisions, having the right goal. It's true. Creating the right habits is the most important. May I have, um, can you? Create the right habits when you decide on the goal, and after making sure that is the goal, okay, that goal is something that feels right for you, and you have the capability, a capacity, and motivation to achieve it. You need to break down the goal into monthly, weekly, and daily habits that will support you to achieve it. When you create habits, it takes the daily decision make oh decision making away from you. It is easier to do, yeah. You know, it makes it easier to do what you have to do because you you have already made the made the decision in in advance. Decision making tires your brain. Uh, when we use our brain power with. One, 
one activity, our mental health capacity may be hindered in another activity, related or not. When we create habits, we take this load off, off the brain and allows our brain to focus on so solving serious problems, being creative or more strategic. You see, one uh, proprietor went to do a research about 1,000 successful businessmen, millionaire and billionaire, and do a research on 1,000 people who are poor people. And they came back about the right habits. The right habits are for rich people, billionaire people, successful people, or hardworking students. The right habit is that they wake up early, they sleep early, uh, and they know what is, once they wake up, they have a pattern, they have a fixed schedule, they know what to do. And, and to be honest, this is how I got it for my set form. Uh, every time when I wake up, I, I go to school, I do, do fall in love with a girl, but after that, I told myself, no, study come first, I'll continue to be on the set form. Even my A-level is also the same. So it's very common. So after that, uh, I think, no, I need to concentrate on my study. And I spent every day about 8 to 10 hours studying. 8 to 10 hours. That's what I am. I was doing that time to recover back my the things that I lost in set 3. So as the year progressed, it become uh, my habits that I need to do things, I need to plan, I need to write down, I need to accountability for what I do. So Han Ning, Tian Yu and Zachary and Kang Yao, you seriously have, must have a chart, like a calendar based on the wall. And put the to do list things to do. So come here. Hello, brother. Next week I come. Uh, I will want you to help you to plan the timetable. Write down. So then you know your accountability. So when your parents see that, uh, oh, this is one of the things you do. You feel good, uh, come here. You won't feel being uh how should I say uh, uh like suddenly loss of, of directions. Uh. Okay, oh, come here. Okay, can uh. can uh. All right, so don't question the process. Yes, when you start to do the things, do not question the process. Just go for it, go for the flow. Because you start to plan, you start to do the things, you do, You want to see the success rate. Of course, along the way, you see failure rates. But how are you going to be successful? It's just like writing your essay. You must go and do your draft one, draft two, continue to do more draft. If you don't do draft, you know, in the architect, uh, to build a house, uh, they, I don't know how many drafts, but how many thousands of drafts they came up just to make a... What is that building? The tallest building? Bash Khalifa, is it? Is it the Bash Khalifa in... Uh, Bash uh, Khalifa, if I know. Yeah, uh, Abu Dhabi, right? Or, uh, uh, Abu Dhabi or Dubai? Uh, Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Correct. It, no? it is in Dubai, correct. Dubai. And then the KLS, KLCC. Uh, KLCC. The, uh, the Twin Tower, you see? It took how many <gasps> people from Malaysia will not be able to build, build such a beautiful building. I was literally there, there first time in my life to see the tall building right in front of me. Hanning, carry on. Don't question the process. When you say you'll go and work out the steps or plan that is going to get you there, don't spend time questioning the plan. Of course, there may be the old location where the plan you've laid out for yourself needs tweaking or an event in your life might steer you in a different direction, but in general, if you have decided on good information, sorry, give me a second. Correct. Or you have decided on good information that. Wait, wait, wait. Where did I stop? Sorry, I, I, I lost a bit. There is what is required to reach your goal. Then do it in order to write a book. Perhaps you have decided you need to write one thousand, one thousand, right? Yes. 1,000 words, all right. 1,000 yeah, words a day. When you start to give yourself leeway on how many words you need to write or skip today and write, 2,000 tomorrow you are setting yourself up for a big fall. Trust the decision you made at the beginning. Don't allow your brain to sabotage plans by telling you that it's not such a great idea and have the discipline to see it through. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my eyes are a bit like I'm focusing, I can't really. No, 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 okay, don't worry. So, so see, I uh, can you, can you, Zachary and Haling. You see, uh, my, my three children, uh, every day, last time, without fail, write sentences. In fact, now my P6 students and P5 students, every day, without fail, will write 10, 15 sentences or 10 sentences, including my younger son. So, Kang Yao, I hope that when I go to your place, you, you can really start writing sentences, get a book and write down sentences. This is one way to confirm, improve your English writing. Okay, so, the process, don't question the process. 
You see, these people who are experts, including myself, I will say 100%, I'm a very expert and professional. I am professional in my job, but I won't dare to claim to be the top expertise in doing this kind of success story process. I believe there are thousands of people much better than me, but I'm just one of them who have go through the, the process myself and it work and it succeed. And the most important thing, it gives results, a good result. So system are the safety nets for when motivation is not there. Justin Walsh, not Justin Bieber, Justin Walsh. And this is true that safety system is the process where you need to know. You see, if the MRT doesn't have a system, the airport doesn't have a system, the, the, the train doesn't have a system, the seaport doesn't have a system, it's gone. Mute your mic, uh, honey. Okay. So act as if you are already are. Add that's good. You want me to read or what? No, no. So you, uh, I thought you called me to read. No, I say uh, you did not mute your mic. Thank you. Oh. Uh, why not, since you are here, read the mic. Uh, read the right, mic. Sure. Read, read the, the mic. passage. Read the mic. Why Act as if you were already are. Psychologist Jamil. Jamil Quirish. 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 Says act as if you already are. If you aspire to be something or someone, act as if you already are. Refer to yourself as a writer or a marathon runner or a business owner and do the things that you would do when you reach, when you reach your goal. Will a best-selling author spend more time watching Netflix or writing? So, what do you do if you are if you already were who you wanted to be? Um, uh, may I correct this person? Uh, especially for those of you who are very prone and like my younger son like to watch TikTok, uh, YouTube, Mr. Beast. Or uh, what the uh, extreme history uh. So don't what, you uh, don't you watch TikTok before you sleep every day? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. I am different, my yeah, dear. Yeah, but child, why do we watch it at one two a.m. in the morning? So yeah, sorry, exactly. I'm concerning You're like sending us. I I just went to uh see a Chinese doctor a few days ago on seven of May. Uh, the doctor advised me to sleep early. Uh, true enough, now I sleep two hours earlier. So by before twelve or twelve thirty, I'll sleep already. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I thought elderly should be sleeping like very, very early. Yeah, yeah, but I got a lot of things to think and do. Like last Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday, I got meeting until 12 o'clock with my boss in Key Cartel, the pop in. So, uh, like some parents, some of your parents also sleep very late, uh, 1 to a.m. Or oh, correct. So my, oh, boss my whole in... entire family all asleep by 11. Either than my un uncle who has to come home like night. He does night share. So sometimes he comes at 1, 2 yeah. a.m. depending. Hey, you but if not, if, yeah. But if not, all my family all asleep by 11. Only my aunt maybe like 11 30. Yeah. But mm. she can it's flex on. Early bird gets the worm. Yes. And of course, it all depends on your uh, personal health. Uh, like if you are ready or not. So I'm ready to sleep early because I, I will wake up early every day. Except Saturday, I, I still wake up a bit later, but 7 plus. Sunday, I might wake up a bit later, but I still wake up 7, 8 plus. So it's, in fact, the older you are, you might sleep lesser. But you will have this uh, uh, power nap in between the days and, and things like that. So you see, I'm, like best seller people watch that speak of writing. Of course, they'll spend the time watching, uh, sorry, writing books than watching Netflix. But doesn't mean that watching Netflix is doesn't give bad things. Uh. He or she might be using Netflix as a content creator, creativity to get some idea from Netflix. So if some of you are, are instead of playing games, uh, games is confirmed no-no. Uh, but if you say you're watching all these video to improve your languages, your listening skills, your presentation skill, your oral skill, yes. But you need to set a time for that. Okay, Not just you and me. Uh, in fact, my child also. Overcoming the bad days and and boom, boom is charging. Uh. Can you? Sorry. Yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, there will be days when you are too tired, too lazy, or full of self pity to follow through. These are the days that you need to be prepared for. These are the days that you watch out for, the days you need, the days you need to watch out for, the days you need to overcome your bull, the negative self-talk, screaming at you to take a break, to skip today and get back to it tomorrow. 
take note, these are the traps. These are the obstacles your brain will throw to you to avoid the discomfort and resist the change. Recognize this and fight back. Just for today, continue with your habit. Do your training, your writing, your healthy eating. And if you still need a break tomorrow, take it tomorrow. Win today's battle and build that sense of pride and accomplishment that you had the mental strength to say no. I don't need to skip this session. I value myself too much for that. Yeah. So when you have to dance and overcome your boo, meaning that you must charge that metal door to, to kill the boo. I don't like this example, this, this kind of description. I believe the boo is like you're charging to get the best to charge boo rather than to be a donkey sitting there slowly or the worst still, the sloth. Oh my goodness, no. Uh, it's no more slow and steady win the race. Uh, it's fast and furious win the race. If you are going to be slow, then you are going to be left behind. So if you are people like yourself who are in a good class, in a good environment, in a good, very competitive uh, environment in school, or even if you are in, at home, it's not competitive, uh, but you have a good family, you will not waste this golden opportunity to keep yourself to be better than others. If you are going to be lacking at this kind of situations, then nobody is going to save you. Nobody is going to come and say, oh, because you have bad days, I understand you. So immediate gratification versus long-term success. Look at this Bob Simpson. The biggest challenge will be put off the immediate gratification in order to see a long-term success. A few days, but I want it now. So if you ask yourself, the, 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 the good guy and the bad guy inside your mind, the bad guy say, uh, let's do it next few days. Uh, let's complete your homework next few days. Let's watch your next feed. Let's play some game. Let's chill out. Let's talk to your friends. Let's sit down in one corner and vape with your friends or vape alone or even chill out to go and watch a movie. Then what is the I want it now effect? I want it now to complete. Uh, you want it now the result. Are you able to have the long-term success? The short-term um, gains, uh, the short-term uh, benefits is not able to last long. Team Evans of uh, Weights by Y, weightbyy.com says that we all have an instant gratification monkey that hijacks our rational decision-making brains and making us to do enjoyable things that actually turn out to be not so enjoyable because they are shrouded in guilt. Example, your addition to handphone now. So it's, it's about the education. Um, it's about your your you see how how much addition to your game because of your game times, uh, the the space that take up from your studies and the playing games and watching TV, uh, chilling out. So I was going to ask all about playing games are uh, like basketball. No, nothing wrong. All works and no play makes a dull boy. Make Jacks a dull boy. But I got my godson every day play basketball. Uh, can you can you, can you, can you every day you no. Know, he played until uh, the coach then want him to join the the what zone competition, the Singapore zone competition. Yeah, he make it very well. Hey, sorry, uh, we are not NBA in America. <laughs> NBA America scholarship. <clears throat> you play basketball, they give you study. Uh. Here's Singapore, sorry. Uh. Don't talk so much about the sports schools, all these things. Uh. I don't see any progress so far in the sports school, to be honest. What do they have? Uh? Maybe the next 10 years, I'm not sure. I mean, sports school has been a wealth here in Singapore. Hey, by the way, Joseph schooling uh, didn't come from sports school, right? Most of the athletes themselves, they never come from sports school right so far. So what is the purpose of sports school in Singapore? Is to build good Catholics, uh, to bring uh, uh, glory to the country, to Singapore, to win medals. But so far, when I brought my student or tenure to compete with them in track and field, uh, the sports school didn't want, want a lot of medals. They don't win a lot of medals. So I, I don't know. Maybe Kang Yao, your school, Tian Yu, Zach, and Harling, your school yeah, might be doing it's performing like, better. Honestly, I think it's very similar to why our football team can't really do well. Because I feel like yeah. either it's a lack of dedication or it's just yeah, that we can't on. even find like better like coaches or like better like yeah, actually better coaches from other countries. Like sometimes you legit have to import other people from other country to get a better version. Uh, Cause like let's say if, like uh let's say uh NBA uh, is in very good in um USA, right? Because USA all the top team in USA, right? Then they should import like a coach from that's like quite high or like quite good 
like well knowledge in about no, NBA no, no point. and no. come in. No, sure, it might have a point. It might, it might, it might. It can be a game changer. You will actually never know. Like all of a sudden, you you hire this coach who's actually like one of like the best at analyzing and stuff. You find out all your player mistake or anything. Boom, your team instantly improve. You have you a never good know. Gender. You never know. You have a good general, general, but you don't have a team of soldiers that are dedicated to the general. Yeah, that that is also to the, 50, to, to the to the games uh, to the the fashion to be a soldiers. I mean, with that day many weeks ago, I think two weeks ago, I took a grab, and the driver told me he he stopped watching EPL totally. He's supporting uh, Liverpool or Man U, but he said he give up. And he used to play for Singapore football team, if I'm not wrong, and with with some coaches. He said cannot make it. Uh. Even now the coaches say the 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 beside Fandi Ahmad's the three son, uh, I think the rest cannot make it now. Uh. Even they are paying so high a salary. Uh. And once they got injured, all these things, it's not like you you United Kingdom, the England's are uh, they count by millions of dollars. They have the best training ground, they have the best uh facility coaches and, and therapy and psychologists and doctors. They really invest billions of dollars in that kind of sports. For, for coming to a 30 to, or even a century years old maybe. I mean, Singapore is not there, la, to be honest. I, I, the good old glory days of football, to me, is gone. I, I, I respect my those Kwa Kim Song, Fadi Ahmad's time. But now, they really play with passion. The, the, the kids now, so they, maybe I don't know. I may be wrong, but I don't think I got 100% wrong on their attitude. I'm not the only one to speak about the football teams, about the success of discipline. Or lack of disciplines, or lack of success. And I'm not the only one. Most of the people I meet is around my age, or maybe younger by me, by to by by the, by me by the less than five to eight years old, we have went through the the old glory days of footballs. So I'm not sure. Uh, back to you, uh, Hanley. All right, employee or tracking system. Using a tracking app or a wall chart can help you stay on track. What's a wall chart? Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Um, brother. Um, watch uh, uh, we, don't, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah, made yeah. a small mistake. I made a small mistake. We don't talk no about problem. that. No problem. That's why I say, hey, brother. Oh, my sure? God. Oh, my God. It's There's okay. No now way. you understand. Uh, now, bro, now you understand. Sometimes uh, what you see and what you think and what you say uh, is different. Uh. The three cannot coordinate together. Uh. So, can yeah, I found out exact. like uh, approximately two normal. seconds ago. Uh, all right. It's normal. Okay. Sometimes you say, "What? Okay. This is so easy. The problem is you don't do wrong. You say you don't do wrong. 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 Have the discipline to do what you plan to do. Yeah. So three things. To be successful, you must have a good plan plus discipline. That's all. That's all. You plan and have discipline. That's all. Okay? That's about it. So easy, but you don't need to have such a way to, to spend so much time. to. Of course, uh, they say study smart, not study hard. Uh, I quite not 100% agree. Uh. But I agree that uh, study smart, but you don't have hard work, don't have discipline, it's also useless. Back to you. No, you need to do both. Check, you need to do both. No, no, nothing wrong. I say I agree. But a person can be very study, very hard, but not smart, can be successful. But a person who is very smart, but don't study hard, I don't think he can be successful. Seriously. That's why they always say hard work pays in the end, in my opinion. Back to you, can you? Before, <clears throat> okay, use the ten minute rule. Yes, before, sir. Le before letting your brain cook. Very oh. soft. I can't hear you. Okay. okay. Better. Yes. Okay. Before letting your brain crock, cocks. Just a tone, yeah. Ah, cocks you off. Cocks you off track. 
commit to only 10 minutes of your goal, your habit, or whatever you have previously committed to doing. If you only do 10 minutes, you will have done what you say you will do, and you, you, and you avoid the spiral of disappointment and regret. Often, when you do 10 minutes, you are motivated to do more, but even if you are not, you will feel better about yourself. Remember that discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Stick with it. Not only will you reach your goals and dreams, but you will be among a group of elite humans who have a rare strength to overcome their sabotaging, sabotaging mind and stay focused on their success. You know about this, uh, the day I went to church, when along the way I accidentally not eavesdrop, uh, hearing two Caucasians talking to each other, I believe they are British people from the accents. And one of the ladies was telling the man that every day without fear, she said, uh, she will spend five minutes to listen to the Mandarin, five minutes to listen to German, and five minutes listening to French. Wow. That's more than 10 minutes already. Like. Learning three languages. And you know about this kind of Kanya, about this person, uh, uh, Vic, uh, what is the name? Vic, uh, Vic Von, what is his name? Uh, when I've known him, Ken and Vic. What is that guy's name? Uh? Let me see, I got the books. Oh yeah, you see my bag. Nick, would you, this guy, you saw this? Hello? Can you? Oh, it's the dude who came to our primary school, right? Hey, Chow. Nick, would you? Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he came to our primary school before. No joke, oh, he okay. came to our primary school. Yeah, no joke, he oh. actually came to our primary school before. I read uh, half, only 10 pages. Uh, it really inspired me to say that I'm not perfect. I came a package, not fully perfect package. So I have limited package. And even though I have limited, but there's limitless for me to show what I have to the world. So he's very disciplined in what they are today. He said, I'm not a perfect person. When I was young, I also made mistake. My mom also scolded me, reprimanded me. And, and that's how I make myself to learn from the mistake I do. It's all about discipline. I only read chapter one to two. I think I have to continue more for that. So very inspiring. Uh, uh, the book was given to me by a good friend uh, on the 1st of February 2016. Uh, now I took nine years to read this book. Uh. I feel very you shameful. Took nine so. years to read a book, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Nine, nine, nine years. You see, you see? Great, great. Look, yeah. Then. Oh, 2016, you see? And then. Let's, let's yeah. See. So that day I was, uh, Kanye, I was going to your place, right? I was reading this book in the MRT station. In the, not in, in the train. On the train. So really have to stay focused. Uh. If you don't stay focused and, <coughs> and discipline good luck to you. Okay, let's go to uh, this one. It's a homework as usual. If you've got time, you'll do in the sentences. All right, this is suffixes, right? Yeah, suffixes means that words adding behind our tongue. Yeah. Like edible with the able. Saleable is sale, uh, sale, able to sell, okay? Nocturnal is at night, the not, the N-E-L, okay? And perform, and the A-N-C-E, A-N-C-E here, okay? So this is a quick one. So this is a sentence, uh, why is self-discipline important for achieving success? This is a homework, okay? Uh, tell you, take a picture. And send to the class, uh, why is this self-discipline important for achieving success? Can you stay back for one minute later, huh? Okay, because uh, very hard to get you uh, sometimes. Done. Thank you. So this will be uh, supposed to do this. Okay, using your atmosphere, your, con your this will be your introduction. Okay, and then your close conclusion, five to seven sentences. Okay, this is your disciplines. We haven't read this, right? Did we do that? Most, I, I can't, can't remember. I also can't remember what time. I don't think so. Can you do it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Can you do it? Okay, Zach may lie, so just hold on to this. Okay, look here, this is also another homework. Uh. All right, 
So uh, Kang Yang, can you read to the class according? Uh, maybe we can do this uh, when I meet you, uh, Kang Yang. Carry on. According to the 2012 cyberbullying study conducted by Microsoft, it has been noted that Singapore has the second highest rate of online bullying among children and youth between the ages of 8 and 17. As part of Singapore uh, Kindness Week, you have been tasked among with your team to raise the awareness of cyberbullying in school during assembly. Well, okay, speech. that means your, your role uh, is to write this to a group of audience. Who are the audience? There's a speech. Uh. So you are writing a speech. Uh, right? Carry on. Write a speech to the student body. State stating clearly the current situation of cyberbullying. Two ways in which one can stand up to a bully as highlighted in the infographic. A useful school-wide activity that you will initiate to put the message across. I think a useful school-wide activities will be maybe uh, printing a T-shirt. We are against cyberbullying. Maybe put a, 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 a no entry sign that kind of cyber against cyberbullying. Or maybe we can have a friendship ban or maybe we can have something like a key change you cannot write your speech. Write your speech in clear, accurate English and in a convincing manner to encourage your schoolmates to do your to do their part. You should use your own words as much as possible. You should look at the infographic. Oh no no that may be. So this is the infographics. Okay, so, uh, honey, I can hear your the other computer talking to me. Cyberbullying interventions witness online. So you can use this infographic, witness no interventions, witness other defend victims, witness other join in harassment, join in harassment, oh my goodness, witness other 10 tell offenders to stop, witness others join in harassment. Oh, okay, wait, wait. witness others join the harassment. Against the harassment, this one a bit. Witness others join in harassment. How do you interpret this, uh, Han Lin and Kanye? I will interpret this like we you join together. To... Jo that, that means they're just watching. They just they watch an argument online, and then they are watching as more people harassment. Join they join in the harassment. Eh? No, no, like or watch as others join in harassment. And that's what you're asking, right? Yeah, witness others join in the harassment. That means you're not helping, eh? Yeah, join. that means you're watching as even more people like. Yeah, you don't care, you? you're not yeah, telling yeah. the offenders, it's just like Pan Kwan Zer Ting, Ke, Ke An Kwan Huo Jia. Yeah, yeah, but, but this also contextualizes the fact that may, you might not have been in a position to influence anything. Not sad, nah. No, 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 wait, 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 contextualize like oh i only watch as other people join that means i that means i refuse to help it could be yeah. circumstance it could be I will, circumstance I will like that. but it could be circumstance sure. you, can, you have to remember yeah, i will read that they, they are not supportive long. <clears throat> but this is an intervention of witness online like what you say to uh join uh <clears throat> maybe it depends on unless the bully it always around. depends sure there's like there's like that you can't like base something in black and white it's Let's see this one, uh. Six, okay. Uh, I, I would say it depends. Maybe that guy is bully others, so it's so not everything is in black and white. So let's let's leave it. Let's leave it like that. You cannot uh, like just that's why I say a bit ambiguous for that. Six main ways yeah. to stop cyber bullying. Don't respond. If someone is bullying you, remember that the bully is looking for reactions. Yeah, yeah, don't respond. Don't retaliate. Getting back as the bully at the bully turns you into one. Uh this one very hard to say, uh. I quite disagree with this one. Uh. If people do that, you might need to retaliate by reporting to the authorities. Save the evidence, capture, save, and show it to someone who can help you. Yes, I agree with this one. Talk to a trusted adult. Well, of course, your parents are. Uh. Or teachers also depends. Uh. Including myself, it also depends. We may not be 100% able to help you. It's always good to involve a parent or a school counselor. Yeah, school counselor also depends also. But parents the best. Block the bully, yes. Block them if it's coming in the forms of instant messages, text, or profile comments. Totally agree. Be a friend, not a bystander. Then this is the one. Uh. If you are if you see it happening, not helping can be just as bad. So I find that this thing is related to the top one. 
to the top of this one here. <laughs> so how can I feel it's not? You see, I feel that like this is related, in my opinion. Okay, so uh, depends on how you see it. Huh? So you are supposed to use the, the current situation of the bullying, two ways in which the current situation of cyberbullying, this is the current situations. And then this is a sixth way. So you have to choose two ways which you think is good. I will choose, out of these six, I will choose to talk to an adult and save the evidence. These two, to me, is more important. You might, of course, you all you decide. This is a homework. Huh? A useful school-wide activity to increase the message. A useful school-wide activities. Maybe during assembly, you can announce to the school and maybe take actions, to, uh, look out for friends who like suddenly change their behavior, attitudes, and why they are like this, maybe you can help them to talk to them. Okay, that is the situation writing. And of course, the four essay here. This is a set four paper, by the way, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, ten, uh, can you read the four question, please? All right, question one. The past holds the key to the future. What are your views? Question two. Uh, this, is, uh, this can be the success story of the discipline. Uh, I feel it. Carry question on. Question two. Teenagers today are too busy to be bought. How far do you agree with this statement? Question 3. What is your greatest worry and how do you cope with it? Question 4. Optim optimize, optimism. optimize or optimism, optimism and powers. Describe some occasions when you found strength in staying positive. This can be success and discipline, correct? Now. Can you? Yep. Oh, so you realize that can, yeah, this can be success and, and discipline. Question 1 and 4. It can be this, um, this do it. Uh. So you got two essay in one situation writing. And of course, uh, Kang Yao, you can get this uh, pop-in voucher. <clears throat> uh, you can see Han Ling face here and Tian Yu face here and Zi Ye. The, 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 well, I think four years. Uh, this is so when? Uh, long. Two, this is four years ago, right? Two, 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 two. 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 two we're not two, that huh? old. We're not that old. We're not that old. Just. Set two, two. lah. Set two, set two. Yeah, set two. Yeah, set two, you see, you got macaron, you got my books, you got this money, I got my books, and you got the books, and you got the ear clips. I know ear clips, hair clips, not ear clips. So these well, are the book would reason. recommend, guys. Book would recommend. Definitely would recommend. Sorry? Very good book. Very good book. Would recommend. I'm so sorry. I left seven books only. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your support and, and your appreciations of this book. We have took about more than 10 over years, 12 years to write this book. Uh, there's are three places to collect your gift. Okay, hopefully you can... Go and take, and then when you take the key, please show, please inform Uncle Raymond, I'm going down to Club Key Plaza Singapura or Anchor Point to collect my $10 voucher. When you reach there, show the, this picture on your handphone to my colleagues, to my staff, and then my staff will tell me what to do. So if you are $10 and more, if you're buying a $17 product, you pay $7 off. If you're like less than $10, there's no refund. If you buy an $8 thing, you don't get back $2. All right, so this will be your homework for you have two essay and one situation writing. And of course, this one will have to wait for Zachary to come back to do this. Okay, in the meanwhile, uh, what else? I will talk to Kanyao. Thank you very much to Han Ling, Tian Yu, and Zachary for listening to the this video. Uh,